Okay, so uh, remember last time we stopped at where we have, we arrive at three is CV is equal to one all over three capital letter and M U square. So now the next thing that we are going to look at is actually what is the average kinetic energy of a gas? What is the average kinetic energy of a gas? And of course, remember, we have a formula which says that drive from the ideal gas equation, we have PV, PV is equal to NRT. So now, as I said, we are going to look at the average kinetic energy of a gas. How are we going to actually obtain the kinetic energy of a gas from? The above equation. So, of course, if you could remember, uh, yesterday we arrived at where we said phi v is equal to 1 all over 3 n m u square. The m stands for the mass, while u stands for the velocity of the gaseous molecules, while n stands for the number of molecules. And the phi stands for the pressure, while v stands for the volume. So, and of course, remember from the ideal gas equation, we have phi v is equal to NRT. So let's see now how we are going to manipulate this. So since here we have PV is equal to this, then we can now replace PV with this, so with NRT. So therefore here we have NRT is equal to 1 all over 3 NMU square. I think this is clearly understood. We just, since PV is equal to 1 all over 3, n m u square and we have phi v is equal to n r t so it means that wherever we see phi v we can replace it with n r t so that is why here we have n r t is equal to half n m u square so now of course from this equation i think we can drive the kinetic energy and how can we drive the kinetic energy if we say now n r t is equal to two times two times 1 all over 3 times 1 all over 2 n m u square. I think it's the same thing. Because if you now say 2 times 1, you have 2. That's if you multiply this 2 times 1, you have 2. And you divide it by 2 is 1. So you are going to get the same thing. So it's like we didn't do anything. So now here, we can just easily set n r t is equal to 2 times 1. We have 2 all over 3. N outside bracket, and then we have open bracket one all over two m u square. And of course, clearly, we can see that from here we have n r t is equal to two capital N all over two open brackets half m u square. Remember that u square here stands for squared velocity. And then now, the next thing now we can just make half m u squares of that of the formula. So you can now say that half m u square is equal to, if you now cross multiply and do it by both sides, we are going to end up of having 3 n r t all over 2 n. This is what we are going to drive at the end. So we have half m u square is equal to 3 n r t all over 2n, okay? And then now we can just easily say that, okay, we now have from here, we can now just clearly say that we have half m u square is equal to three all over two, rt and of course this small letter and we can take it down so you can now see n capital letter n divided by small letter n capital letter n divided by small letter n how do we do this it's just that you can just take you can just divide the equations through by small letter n so if you divide the equation through uh, through by letter n of course we are going to have, uh, we are going to arrive at this. And of course, from what we said here, since we have N, capital letter N, small, divided by small letter N, of course, the capital letter N stands for the number of molecules, while small letter N stands for the number of moles. So, but this, 
capital letter N, that is number of molecules divided by the number of bonds, is the same thing as Avogadro's number. The same thing as Avogadro's number. So therefore, you can just easily substitute capital letter N divided by small letter N with Avogadro's number. So therefore, we are now going to have half M U square. Half M U square is equal to 3 RT all over 2 times NA. And the NA here stands for Avogadro's number. So it means that clearly here, clearly here, we can now say that we have, of course, half MU square or half MV square from the basic knowledge of uh, physics. We know that it's kinetic energy. So it means that simply here we can say kinetic energy is equal to 3 all over 2 RT all over NA. And of course, R divided by small letter N, oh, sorry, capital letter NA is the same thing as K. It's the same thing as K, small letter K. And this small letter K stands for what you call Bothman constant. Bothman constant. Bothman constant. We call it Boltzmann constant. Call it Boltzmann constant. So it means that from the equation, from the equation above, we can simply replace the N, uh, capital letter R divided by capital letter Na with K. So therefore, at the end, we are going to have kinetic energy is equal to 3 all over 2 R. Okay, yes. R over Na is referred to small letter K. So you have kinetic energy is equal to K all over 2 Kt. So this is actually an equation that shows the average kinetic energy of a gas. So it means that clearly here we can see that there is a strong relationship between kinetic energy and temperature. It means that the higher the temperature, the higher the kinetic energy. Okay? So...